you're right. I mean, a black hole is black. No light can escape from it. So the only way that you can actually get an image of it is to see it um, sort of silhouetted against the background of brighter material all around it. And that's what these scientists have managed to do using a very sensitive and uh, a very large network of telescopes all around the world. And when we say large, we're talking about enormous uh, amounts of hard drives of computer servers, aren't we? Yes, they've managed to link up eight telescopes. These are radio telescopes all around the world. Uh, there's one in the South Pole, one in Hawaii. They really are do dotted around uh, the whole world. And, and what they do is they collect the information individually and then they, they bring all that information together and sort of combine it in a, in a massive computer correlator, it's called. And, and that's how they've managed to produce an image that uses information from all these telescopes simultaneously. Now, the first thing we found out is that this, this black hole is enormous. Uh, what is uh, the significance, the, the scientific uh, significance of uh, this image? Well, it's the first time uh, anyone's actually taken an image of a black hole. So we know that they're there. We've known for quite a long time because we can see the effect that the black hole has on its surrounding material. For example, the, we, the, we know there's a, a, a large black hole in the centre of our galaxy, which is causing stars to move around it extremely rapidly. And the only explanation for that is that there must be something very massive, but no one's actually seen it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whereas here, we've actually got an image of that black central region that light just can't escape from. And that's a, a, mm. a fantastic confirmation that these black holes do exist. And that they, in fact, it, even better than that, it matches the, the predictions of Einstein's theories absolutely perfectly. Well, let's talk a little bit more about uh, Einstein's theories. Uh, this is obviously the theory of uh, the general theory of, of relativity, uh, and it's it, the yes. speeds of the matter that were around that black hole were consistent uh, with being the speed of light. Is that right? That's right. So the fact that it, it, when you see the image that we've just seen there on the screen, uh, it's a ring, but part of that ring is brighter, and they believe that what's happening there is that matter is going round the, the, the black hole so quickly, almost at the speed of light, and that's what causes some parts of the ring to glow more brightly because the radiation from those parts are coming towards us and are kind of being beamed towards us so fast that they appear brighter. So that's one confirmation that, that, that things are moving so, uh, you know, almost at the speed of light at the edge. Yes, and the absolutely. Other, the other key thing... Sorry, excuse me. I'm, I'm that, so... <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead. You've got, you've got 10 seconds. Go on ahead. Right. I'm so excited that there's, uh, you know, there's no light at all coming from that middle region and that's, that's another key observation. It really is black in the middle. So it is a Fantastic. black hole. Really?